Hey guys, welcome back. This is the additional lecture of our bootcamp series. In this lecture, you will learn that how to create instance method into an active record model. But first of all, we will discuss that what are instance methods. So instance methods are the normal Ruby methods which can be invoked on an instance of a class. Every instance of a class can access these methods and perform required operations. In this lecture, we will implement a few instance methods inside an active record model class so that our model objects can use this method. But why we need these instance methods inside the model classes? So let's discuss on it. Sometimes it's required to access some custom formatting of data or result of a specific operation performed on an instance or using instance. That's why we need to implement instance methods inside a model class. For example, let's see. Here you can see that I have displayed first name and last name of students. But uh, and now check on the show page as well. Here you can see the first name and last name. But how you will do this if you want to display a complete name or combination of first name and last name, then probably you will do it like uh, let's open the show partial for students. Go to the views, open students and show.htm, sorry, shows show.html.erb okay now here you can see the first name and last name now what is the task that we need to display a name like this we will display it like uh, let's say child p is strong let's say name or full name okay let's keep it name and now if you want to display a full name of students inside this then how you will do that normally uh, one can do it like uh, first let's say at that student dot first name and then space and another take for student dot last name last name and this is how you will do now you can remove the first name and last name takes here and save the file and reload your show page here you can see the name is displayed like uh, Ravi Singh but uh, look at the thing what that we done here in show template that we implemented it by providing two separate takes for student.first name and student.last name and that is completely fine but uh, this is not ideal or this is not a preferable solution or one can ask you to implement uh, this thing using an instance method okay so we will try to display this complete name or combination of name using instance method okay so now open your student model and in the student model you can create your instance method at uh, here like let's say def food and here you can define full name and inside this method we will display the first name and last name so let's say first name and make a space or and write here last name okay and save it now at the show template we will use a student dot full name okay because this this is a instance method so we can invoke instance method via a dot operator okay so instance dot method name so we will call here full name and now remove this extra tag save your file and now refresh your browser so when you refresh the browser you can still see the name is Ravi Singh or name as the combination of first name and last name so this is the advantage of uh, instance methods that uh, it uh, make our coding practice very best and we can avoid uh, writing ugly code at the view layer or anywhere there we want to write manual logic and if we can do that using some instance methods okay so here you can see that we implemented an instance method of full name and uh, we implemented it like this so just define a normal ruby method inside your model class and then you can access it via instance name dot your method name okay now let's implement another method that is uh, we will try to get age of the student so we can implement age instance method like this def age and let's make it like this and inside the age method now what we will check that if 
डेट ऑफ बर्थ और प्रेजेंट देन फर्स्ट क्लोज इट हेल्थ रिटर्न नील Now, if date of birth is present, then what we can return here? Like uh, date dot today dot year minus date of birth dot year. Okay, and save it. If you refresh the page now, since we do not have defined age at the show template, so you will not see the age here. but uh, you can do it like uh, just go to your show template and define an attribute below the date of birth attribute let's say we will define let's say p close the paragraph add a strong tag here strong tag and write age here and here we can define the age of the student at the rate student dot age okay now you can click here since it's date of birth you can see 2000 february 19 okay so now let's click on it okay so here you can see that age is 22 so what we have achieved from this instance method that we do not have age in our database or in student schema but we can display age on the browser using this instance method if for you want to make it uh, uh, Visible on the screen, you can do it something like this as well. Like say, let's say for example, just to copy this text and uh, add, copy it and paste here. And just make this kind of stuff, and you will still see the age on the browser. Now let's refresh the page. You can still see the age equal to twenty two, but uh, this practice seems very no wise and this is not a ideal practice to display data or format your data on the browser so you can use this using instance methods so let's undo this again student dot age and we can fetch the age using an instance method okay now there is another better way to write this like you can do this like uh, return nil copy this and you can do it like uh, unless okay and uh, or like it write it on here and do everything this okay now save it and if you reload the page you can still see the name method is here okay so this is how instance methods work now for example if you want to display a combination of student name and email just like this for example let's say go to the students and you have to like uh, just make it a student for much better thing Now remove this tag, and you have to display uh, a student like this. Uh, let's say student dot full name. Add a slash here, and student dot email. and remove this email as well from this part and write this remove this as well okay now if you refresh the page let's go to index here you can see this is displayed like now ravi singh slash student at that example dot com student one l one name slash student at that boot camp dot com so here you can see that name slash email so how you can do this with class methods so it's uh, really easy to do this using class a uh, instance methods sorry so let's implement a method like uh, name with email okay. and here you can call this method full name okay so we will call full name method here full name slash email 
uh, if you refresh the page and just call this method on the view at your index page you can open your index page and you can call this method here name with middle and remove this extra tag rails tag here now sorry let, let's make it with save it and save it here again let's refresh the page okay so here you can see student slash student at the rate example.com or student name and then student email so these are some examples of uh, instance method and this is how you can do that okay so for any of your purpose where you want to do something like this or you want to manipulate your data like this you can use instance methods and it's uh, really easy okay now here you can see the one end benefit that we do not have the age attribute inside a student model or a student table but still we can show uh, invoke this method on uh, our view template and then we can show the age of the student on browser okay so these are some example of how to implement instance method into your model file and i believe this will be very helpful for beginners so let's give this a try at your end as well and let me know through the comments if you feel any doubt or difficulties through comments okay i will be glad to answer there okay so thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe